Okay, perfect. Are you ready to take some action in this session, or are you already tired? Yes. You're tired. Tired, but 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 what? Okay, okay, good. That's very good. It depends on the action, right? Okay, I tell you, I tell you, good. So, um, hi everybody. My name is Bernd Schiffer, and uh, my accent. Well, I'm I'm not from here, obviously. So um, I came over from Australia, and that's not an Australian accent. So if you, well, we don't have any Australians here right now. So I can't, not really, you don't, you don't count, it's no, not, I don't, I don't really count, okay. But that's a German accent, so I'm living in Australia, I'm coming originally from, from Germany, and uh, my, my name, Bernd, is uh, like, um, think of a bear, like, <laughs> bear, with ND at the end, and then you have the correct pronunciation, okay, Bernd, does it make sense? B-E-R-N-D? B-E-R-N-D, yes, yes, that's right. Cool, awesome. Um, now I'm I'm an agile coach, trainer, consultant, and I'm freelancing in, in, in Melbourne at the moment. Um, but actually, when I when I came over like 15 months ago, like over from from Germany to Australia, that was a big move. And you know, you have all kinds of, of funny ideas, like, well, do I want to do that agile coaching thing for like longer, you know, or should I do something completely different? Okay, because well, it's not always fun, not always, most of the time, but not always. Okay, so now. What I thought actually was like I could do that. I, I could open my own, my very own cinema, you know. Like I'm, I really like movies, and I really like to to have a nice cinema, like the small ones. And I really, I could, I could make a good cinema. Like I really could create a good cinema, like a new business, you know. So now here's the thing. Could you could you please think think of my cinema? I describe it, and please please take a like take a seat in that cinema and watch a movie. Now I describe that cinema a little bit, okay? Now it's it's very cozy. Actually, that's the name, cozy cinema. Yeah, so it could be a franchise, but I'm I'm just focusing on one cinema, cozy cinema. It's cozy because it has like lounge uh, sofas. Yeah, so you can have a single sofa or like a double sofa with your with your partner. Yeah, so um, yeah, like you you really could relax, and it has like that those retractable uh, leg rests. Yeah, so like you could really relax in those things. Um, you have you have a waiter uh, coming uh, before every movie and actually asking if you want something and then you can order that and during the movie he or she will come back and complain to not disturb you during the movie but still you would be have like like uh, whatever you want to drink right so uh, or eat even eat during the movie so, um, the kinds of movies like I'm I'm a big fan of all the cool movies yeah so for example I would show Matrix only the first part of course yeah so the rest is crap. Um, and for the ladies, maybe I don't know. I'm I'm not very, but I, I appreciate that. So Titanic, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Or well, you guys maybe like like uh, uh, like the Bollywood movie? I'm I'm not sure. Yeah. So I'm, but just checking. So that those were my kind of movie choices. Okay. So what do you think of that cinema? I actually would I would like to have some feedback of you about your experience in that cinema, that experience you have right now, like when you think of that cinema, okay? And I want to, like, I, I read a very good book, that book here, it's called The, the Ultimate Question by Fred Reichelt, yeah, he's, he's an uh, US guy um, uh, with, with German uh, ancestry, so uh, that's, that's why the name, yeah, so. Um, I wrote that, uh, I, I read that book, so, and, um, and this is actually what I want you to do right now. So on a, on a zero to 10 scale, zero to 10 scale, how likely is it that you would recommend my cinema to a friend or colleague of yours? So you just were in that cinema. So on that scale, with, with zero, it's very unlikely, yeah? So, and 10, it's very likely that you would recommend this cozy cinema, yeah? So, um, now give me that number. Put that, wait a sec, put that on a, on a sticky note, yeah? So, and then answer, please, that second question. So, First question, just one number. Second question, why is that? Why did you give me exactly that number? Okay, you only have you only have like limited space deliberately. Okay, so just maybe one or two points. Yeah. So why did you give me that number? Could you do that right now, please? Here, here is here are posters. There are pens. Yeah. Sorry, what? See, it's over now. Now you're outside, and now. <laughs> 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 
Now, if, you, if you've written down something, please put it on that wall over there. See that? Well, did you buy tickets? I don't know. Well, what was your experience with that? I bought a ticket there, so if my cousin also going to bring it. Just put it up here. Now, and, and when, you, when you're just at the front, could you please also sort it a little bit? So put the, the, the tens more to the right and the, 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 the zeros more to the left and some kind of <laughs> continuum in between. That would be awesome. It's an eight? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> well, nice. Okay, thank you very much. Awesome. Let's let's see. Good service. Yes, I I, I really I really want to have a good service. That's very good. So cozy and indoors. You have outdoor <laughs> cinemas only? Is that yeah. yes? In Scotland you only have outdoor cinemas. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. So let's see. I think it will be will be good, but I'm not sure. Yes, fair enough. Oh, it's too expensive. Ah, I really, is that, was that yours? Yeah. yeah. It was too expensive? Yeah, it was. Well, let's talk about that a little bit like further, like, like let's deepen that. Not now, but I'm, I come back to you later, is that okay? So, and the weight I disturbed, was it too, too loud? Or? Well, you kept walking past me. Ah, I see. <laughs> Maybe I should make them crawl or something. Yeah, but, okay, okay, yeah, I, yeah, thanks, that's awesome. Okay, take a seat. Thank you very much for that feedback so far. Now this is the, you're in the middle of the so-called net promoter system, and uh, Fred Reichel actually described the, the question, the ultimate, uh, the ultimate question, like this, on a zero to 10 scale, how likely is it that you would recommend us or this product or this service or this brand to a friend or colleague? And I also instructed companies to ask at least one follow-up question, for example, what is the primary reason for your score? Okay, that's very formal, I think, yeah, so you could just ask, so why, why is that? Why did you put that number, okay? So. Now, the, 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 the reason of, because of that, like the, the net promoter system, is, is this is, is it. So on that scale, you have different, um, well, uh, categories. The one category here is the seventh and the eighth, yeah? We have a few sevens, we have a lot of eights over there, so we, have, we call them the neutrals. Yeah? And you can see them as a dissatisfied customer. It's pretty good if you have seven and eight. Yeah? So they're satisfied. And satisfied people, if you ask satisfied people, so how was that, that, that experience, that product, whatever, they will ask you, uh, answer you and will say, yes, it was pretty good and I can recommend it. Okay? But they won't go in a, in a in like, they won't burst into a party or something and they will say, oh, guys, that cinema, wow, that was awesome. Okay? That would be, that would be this category, the promoters, the ninth and tenth. Okay? This is actually what you want to have as a customer. You want to delight them. Okay? So like really, wow, what an experience. How awesome was that? Okay? And then of course we have, and you see that, yeah, the, the huge range, the leftovers here, which is actually, those are the detractors. They would actually, uh, they, would, they would warn everyone without asking, without being asked. So they would actually go to a party with, with just a face like, <laughs> and everyone would say, so what, what, what's up? You're totally sad. Yeah, I'm totally pissed because of that cinema. That was lousy. It was too expensive. And, and the waiter, like, ah, just, yeah? Something like that, okay? Those are the detractors, the dissatisfied customers. Okay, that's very unusual, okay, yeah? Okay. I don't know what to make out of that, so. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Now you have those, 
three categories, and I asked you to put them like a little bit in relation to each other. Yeah, so so you actually can can see them here. So we have at least. Does it do that every time? Oh, that hurts. <laughs> we have two detractors. <laughs> we have, oh, I'm awake. We have uh, okay. we have satisfied people here, those two columns, and we have uh, we have the promoters over there. Okay, you clearly can identify them. Do you see that, all of you? Yeah. It's very important that you do it. <laughs> okay. What we did, what you did actually for me, and thank you very much for that, you categorized them. And that's the second step you take when you actually um, ask for feedback, okay? So first you ask for feedback, those two questions. You put them on, let them put them on sticky notes. You can uh, use there all kinds of tools out there where you can do that electronically if you want to do that. You can easily set something up with, with, a, with a survey formula, yeah, the form, something like that. So, and afterwards you, you receive that feedback, categorize it in the, the detractors and the satisfied and in the, in the promoters, okay? So now, why do we want to do that? The goal is, with every business, the goal is to actually don't have any detractors and actually transform the detractors into neutrals, at least. And when you've done that, well, trans try to transform all the neutrals into satisfied, uh, into delighted customers. Not only satisfied, delighting customers. That's the goal. Now, why is that the goal? Well, you want to have actually this. This is a, a, a Spain crowd of fans, like soccer fans. And you know, soccer fans, they are the most, you know, like, like it's almost a religion. Yeah, so you want to have loyal customers. That's the idea. Yeah, so um, Fred Reichel actually said, loyal customers are good because loyal customers come back more often. They buy additional products and services. They refer their friends. Obviously, if you ask with, with a recommendation, yeah. So they provide valuable feedback, so, and they cost less to serve and are less price sensitive. Meaning, less price sensitive, you can actually like they don't they don't mind a higher fee, okay? Yeah, or a higher price. Does it make sense? Yeah. So this is what Fred Reichel uh, found out with, uh, through re research. So and um, well, the, the, he said there's a huge correlation between loyal customers and the recommendation. If you recommend something, uh, you, you have the most value out of that product. The value generation was at its peak at that point. Okay? So, um, and the, the thing is, when you have loyal customers, when they recommend you, there's a clear um, 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 correlation between the net promoters, like here are less net promoters, here are more net promoters. Yeah? So, and this is the growth of, uh, of an organization. Yeah? So, um, meaning AOL is not so good as MSN or Earthlink. That was back in 2002, 2003, yeah, when he found that out. Yeah, so pretty old, but still, that, that, uh, that article here is very good. Yeah, so. um, well, and that's actually what he found out. There's a huge correlation between the net promoter, what the net promoter system actually provides, yeah, so, and the, the, the healthiness of a, uh, of a business. Does it make sense? Yeah? What? On the x-axis is the net promoter. So how many promoters do you have in your business? Like 60%, for example? Yeah. Well, you can, you, I, I come back to that, the, to that number later. Yeah, but you can have actually negative promoters, meaning you have more detractors than promoters. Not very good. Yeah? So. But, but still, you can have that. Okay. Yeah? okay, do you understand? Is that okay? Now, here's the thing. You don't want to have detractors. Detractors, you can have a lot of promoters. Only one detractor, only one guy who's closing out these days, for example, via Twitter. Well, wow, that was a bad experience. I really hate that cinema. Okay? Only one guy with 10,000 followers. And, well, you, you, it pretty much a lot of damage done. Okay? Now, how can you piss off people? You piss off people with bad profits. I will give you a few examples of bad profits. So, number one, roaming fees. Oh God, exactly. And it's, and it's getting better at the moment, but still, it's so expensive to have your mobile um, outside of the country where you're living in, and you have to pay roaming fees. And there's no good reason why I have to pay one euro for one text message. There's, technically, it's, there's no reason for that, for that fee, okay? Roaming fees, one example of bad profit. The other one, for example, gym description, uh, subscription. 
You, you know that? Like you, you, you desperately want to lose weight or want to get fitter or something, okay? You sign up, so any, then you, you, you're, you're caught in a net of 24 months or something, and you can't cancel that, even though after two months, well, your, your inner devil says, well, I don't go to that gym anymore. You forget it with losing weight, yeah? So, and you're caught in, 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 in some kind of subscription net here, okay? Now, and, and uh, Martin Fowler um, told that at the beginning of the conference, the dark patterns of UI, where you actually, where you, um, where you for example, sign up, um, you want to have a newsletter, and it actually says, uh, well, and you also sign up for these 10 promotional activities, yeah? So in very tiny, in a very tiny font below that, yeah? And you didn't know about that, so dark patterns. Now, these are all examples of bad profits, and bad profits is you extract value so that you can make money out of it. You extract value from the customer. But the whole idea of Agile is we want to we want to build value for we want to create value for the customer. Okay. So whenever you extract value from the customer, you generate so-called bad profits, and you don't want to do that because well the detractor. Okay. Now you, you have the question with the where comes comes the minus from. So NPS stands for Net Promoter System, but it also stands for Net Promoter Score. And that is, well, the, the score is very famous. Well, whenever you have something you can measure, it's very famous. And the, a warning out there, the score is not the system. The system is much more and much more important than the score. But still, where comes the score, OK? Um, this is actually the score, the NP score. So um, well, and this is the score, OK? Well, don't take a photo yet. There, there's more. Wait. <laughs> Number one. You count the promoters, the neutrals, and the detractors. OK? Can, can you do that, actually, for, for this? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, perfect. So wait, wait a sec. So you, count, you counted it? Yeah? So now you have this. Uh, uh, you subtract the detractors from the promoters. All right. So there's four promoters and two detractors. Yes? Yeah. yeah? So what is the number here? Two. 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 Awesome. Perfect. Now, number three. Divide the result by the number of all votes. 13. So 2 divided by 13 is what? Something with 7, 8-ish? 7 or 8? Is that it? Yeah? Somehow. OK? So now multiply the result with 100. Sorry, what? 14 persons? No, that's 13 overall. Yeah? So I have. Yeah? So did you do that? 15%. Thank you very much. So, and now I have the percent, and you got a number between minus one, uh, 100 and plus 100, and that's the NP, NP score, okay? We don't put the, the percentage in there. I don't know why. Yeah, so it, it's, just, it's just that you have the, the NP score would be 15 here, okay? So you get the minus because the number of detractors should be much more. Exactly, exactly. If it, if it were the other way around, you had four detractors and only two promoters, it would be mi minus 50, right? Yeah, so, but it can't be more than minus 100. Minus 100 means you you pissed off almost every no, you pissed everyone off. Yeah, so, and and uh, plus 100 is also very unlikely because like everyone was totally happy. Okay, it can happen, but very rarely. Okay, so. now that's the 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 NP score. Now, in the real world, lots of companies using it for a lot of different uh, ways. Yeah, so, and I don't want to look at all of them. I'm interested how you can use that in an agile environment. So you know the Agile Manifesto, yeah. So, and um, well, for example, with the customer collaboration, it helps. It can help help like a lot, like really. Okay, it, you can you can actually find out if you have working software here. So um, the responding to change is actually very good. So and and the in, the interactions are very good. For example, well, okay, so I, I've never I would never think of like how the waiter would move through the cinema. I, yeah. So yeah, just one example. So before you build the feature. You could actually like describe it, so and ask people those two questions and get feedback about it. Okay, and the don't and I've never underestimate the the, uh, the power of imagination of people. Never, it's all awesome. it's really awesome. So number two, when it is, is responsive, yes, directly after the feature is used. This is called the bottom up approach, or also the transactional approach. Meaning, for example, you're at the website and you just had an, like, you used an online app or something, okay? You just accomplished a task, for example, yeah? So, and then suddenly, like, there's a small pop-up and it just has those two questions, 
So how likely is it that you would recommend this feature to a friend or colleague of yours? So, and why is that? With a free text field. You could do that, so, and well, every one out of 10, well, maybe every one out of 100 would actually answer that, so, and you get feedback. Depending how many people are using your service, you get a lot of feedback in a very short amount of time, yeah? After every transaction, maybe, okay, so. Um, or you could do it, per, uh, per, per, oh, bad word, periodically, the, while the features are used. So, for example, every, one, every month, or every three months, or every, whatever you, you want to, like how you're interested in that feedback, you ask all your customers, so wh what was your all overall experience? Like how likely is it, we, you, uh, is it that you would recommend this product, this service, this whatever it is you want to seek feedback about? Yeah, so how likely is it that you would recommend that? Does it make sense, those three approaches? Yeah? Now I will, I will give you an example. So I'm, like I, I told you, I'm an, I'm an agile coach, I'm an agile uh, trainer, so, and every time I, I do my trainings, I use that, that thing here. So, and I just wanted, I didn't want to bring like, a, like, a, like an, uh, an IT uh, um, example. I want to bring like an example I actually built in my business, okay? So. Now, this is what I do at the end of every training. I show a, 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 a slide like that, yeah? So, and actually says, how likely is it that you will recommend this training class to a friend or colleague, okay? Again, you see that, that scale here, so, and the question why afterwards. And I only read it out loud, and the only thing I add usually is, well, given that you have a friend or a colleague, okay? Because I almost, when I don't do that, I always get at least one post that says, zero, I don't have friends who would be interested in that. And I say, ah, imaginary friend, virtual, okay? Yeah, so, okay, that's why I, I do that. So afterwards, um, I, I, and again, I just provide post-its and pens, yeah? So, um, well, I do that all the time in my training, so. And I get, I get the feedback here, okay? So you see all the numbers here. That was actually a very good training class, yeah, so. And, uh, and yeah, sometimes it's feedback, well, you're a good mate with an eight. Well, I, thanks, but that's not what I'm looking for, okay? It's still, it's still okay, yeah, so. And sometimes I get really, really, really thorough uh, feedback. See, see how much they write here, okay? They only have a minute to do that, okay? Still, at the end, so they, they give me that feedback, okay? So. Now, when I have that feedback, um, I turn it into something like that, okay? So um, I have the NPS calculator here at the top. Well, that's the headline, so, and then I actually um, write down all the feedback, yeah, so, and create a chart like that, like, like an overview like that, so. And, um, well, and for example, there was one thing about the, oh, there. The 59 minutes scrum was the best, lots of practical fun and very eye-opening and so on. So, and I, and the feedback for me is, wow, that game, I really should, should emphasize that. Like, maybe I can do more of that game or I can improve it somehow or something like that, okay? So I'm not only looking for bad feedback, also the good feedback actually helps me to preserve what I already have, yeah? Now, what I also do is, I create an overview for my clients. So for example, if I do uh, more, tr more than one training for a client, I can see how is the development over time. Okay? This is actually a real, real world example here. Yeah? That is uh, the development over time of one of my trainings. Okay? Now, and with all those uh, 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 sheets, I actually send it, don't read that all, it's just an overview of what I send to my, to my clients, and they get a PDF which looks like that. Okay, so I have the overview of the, the one training class. I put it in relation to all the other training classes and actually explain or, or, or help them to understand all the numbers. Okay, so they love it. They really do. Not only I use it, but they, like my clients, use it too. So actually it's a good idea to actually um, send, well, for example, ask you about your feedback after, well, maybe you come back, yeah? So, and, and I would actually ask you again, and if I can put that into relation, how you, how you actually have a development in time over your experience, so I, I would bet you would find that at least interesting. Let's put it that way, yeah? Yes? Yes, this one. Well, that, that one was just not so good than that one. So. <laughs> yeah, it can happen. I'm, I'm not a robot. I, I do sometimes have my bad moments, so. And it, it's not really bad, it's just not so good as there, okay? Yeah? Good. Now, what I do internally, I create one larger uh, table where actually, well, that is one of the training classes I do, yeah? So, 
And uh, well, I, that's the number of scores, uh, 25. So I've had 25 feedback. At, that was at the beginning of, of last year, like like May last year, when I actually started uh, working as a freelancer in Australia. So and I, I keep them. Uh, I, I put every single score I get for that training class in one table here, and I look for patterns all the time. So for example, if one says, "Well, the 59 minutes one was good," I say, "Yes, okay." So one was actually pretty pleased about that. If I get another one. That's a huge indicator for me that I'm up to something here. Okay? If I get 10, whoa, I should I should build like I, I don't know, like like a class only for that. Yeah, some you know? So I really work with that feedback. Okay. Now what I also do is, so these are my products. That's that's a made-up table, so but still there's the agile overview. So and then I have other products, other services I provide. So and actually compare the NPS over the last 12 months. Now, the thing is, when I see something like that, so I actually would take care of this one the most because this is actually the one where I actually can delight my customers. Yeah? So, well, and I would take care of this because this is compared to this not very good. So I really should, I should really like have a disruptive change in there. Yeah? So, so this helps me actually, the, this, this overview in terms of so wh where should I take care of which product should I take care of? Okay? Just again, my business, yeah. So totally the whole NPS uh, the, that system is totally independent of the domain. You can use it for all kinds of things, and I will give you more examples of, of what you can use. Uh, actually. Yes. You just uh, you lost time. Bob speaking of live training, of live training. Yes. Do you still get bored with this or something? Well, I you don't. Really use. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 would, it, it would show in the feedback, I'm pretty sure. So I don't have that experience. Do you have the same thing again and again, kind of both of them? And you just kind of wonder. You know, do you? Well, and that could be, yes. And that could mean, well, I, I, tell, I, I, every, I do every, uh, every time the same thing, and they get bored, and I should do something different then, right? That would be the feedback. And then I can react to that feedback. But something from your product. Sorry, say it again? Don't understand what you mean. Can, can you help me? What? It cannot be written in the feedback. Yes. Because you're getting bored. Yes. But the numbers show that. So you can infer. That. Usually, ah, okay. Usually, you have a huge correlation between the numbers and the feedback. If the numbers, if the numbers go down, I see it in the in the qualitative feedback too. So I have a like my gut feeling is actually before I actually calculate the numbers, I read all the feedback, the qualitative feedback. Yeah. So and I already have a gut feeling like. Oh, that was that that was not so good. So and then I get a like an NPS of I don't know like a lower one. Okay. So and sometimes I'm I'm like overwhelmed by the qualitative feedback and I know oh that's a high number. Okay. So it actually it but only over time I develop my gut feeling. One other question. One other. Do you have to take only one number and one why, or is it like you want to filter across multiple regions, multiple feedback? You don't know yeah, what you mean. Just yes. Yeah? Yeah. We typically we have feedback forms which we set at the end of a project. Yes. And that has got a four to five parameters. Yes, no, I only ask those two questions. That's it. Because I know when I ask ten questions, uh, the the probability that they won't answer, yeah, so is 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 a lot higher than just two questions. Those two questions are actually very easy to answer. <laughs> I, I will probably tell someone that it didn't go. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, I will tell. I, I think I will tell. If asked, I, I'm planning on telling, and I have already told. <laughs> and that's, I was thinking about that very quickly. Yeah. 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 And it sounds very similar to to well, it's it's it's, it's still based on a recommendation, right? Yeah. And it was inspired by that, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What I really know? like about the simplicity of it is that uh, there's feedback fatigue too, right? Sometimes yeah. I, I, I attended a training class, four sheets of, of A4 paper, like with very tiny, like, and I was like, no, no, forget it. I just, I, I, I looked at the, at the, at the, like, how satisfied are you, and I just made my cross, and that's it. So. Something agile about the simplicity. Yes, yes. Sorry. It's just like, like how many, like, uh, Martin Fowler mentioned that too in his keynote, like, Datensparsamkeit. Do you remember that? Like, be spare with what you, what you collect from people. So this is actually, like, you don't need more, actually, than that. But 
the thing is, well, one, one, one thing. I would actually ask to put, like, if in my training, I ask, can you please put your initials on the, on the post-it if you are okay with me contacting you afterwards to have some follow-up discussion. So, for example, if you, would, if you were doing that, yeah, so I could actually call you, yeah, so, and actually talk to you about, like, well, please help me to understand your feedback better. And I do that with, with at least all my detractors, yeah? Okay. Now, here are a few other examples. Yeah. So I use that a lot for meetings, okay? Because even, even half an hour meeting, you can ask that question. How likely is it that you would recommend, well, what my service may be like I called for that meeting as a product owner, like I have a stake in there, yeah? So how likely is it that you would recommend the meeting like that? Yeah, so you can do that for all the Scrum meetings, for example, okay? So um, or uh, when I'm a facilitator, you could actually ask, so how, how likely is it that you will recommend my facilitation service to others, okay? So give me great feedback, okay? Um, usually I do it with, uh, with meetings which are like three hours or more, okay? Like more workshoppy things, okay? Um, that's one thing. The other thing is, um, there's something actually, I didn't make that up, it's called an ENPS. E stands for employee, so the employee net promoter system. Okay, you can easily do that on your own. So that's actually a trademark thing. So, um, but you can ask your colleagues and peers. How likely is it that you would recommend me as an employee, as a peer? Yeah. So, to a friend or colleague of yours. Yeah. So the, the thing is like like how happy are you working with me? Yeah. Something like that. So. Now, and the follow-up question, of course, where you get a lot of insights in terms of, so what actually do my colleagues see in me yeah, when they interact with me? Again, very simple, very simple thing, so, and, and it works like, like big time. So, um, and you can, can have the, the NPS just for me. That means, like, in, no, for the organization, it's more like, well, we could do an NPS program yeah, and let everyone do that. But actually, if you're not, if you don't want to roll out the big stone, like like uh, you, you can ask everyone on your own personally. Okay, my wife did that at, at REA actually. So so she initiated that there. So and uh, she she got lots of insight and very very con uh, like deep uh, um, discussions with with her co uh, colleagues. Yeah. So and you can like you can imagine if you get feedback from your peer. So and they give you like seven or something. Seven is almost like whoa. That there's there's the clip, you know. So and and I'm here on seven. Like, whoa! Why did you? Can can we talk about that? Can we can we can we grab a coffee? Yeah. So and can we? I, I really would like to learn more about that. Yeah. Okay. ENPS. Now here are a few more actions. Just a little bit to inspire you about the actions. Yeah. Just wanted to add the whole yes. 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 The action, get feedback from attendees about large meetings and workshops. You have that. You can do a retrospective with customer feedback as data, all the data you get, all the, when you have it in, the, in, the, in that huge list. Use that in retrospectives or in reviews, yeah, where you actually talk about the product. So it can be useful in both meetings. So do a backlog refinement session with customer feedback. Okay? Um, get feedback from practitioners about learning sources. So for example, in a book club, you could actually ask, like, how likely is it that you will recommend this book? Yeah. So, um, identify weak and strong features and products. You, you, if you compare the different NPS of the features or the different products, yeah. So you can actually learn from from other products. So what went went very good at that product? Okay. So then we have let every employee contact uh, promoters and detractors. Very good. In most organizations, the developers of that product are not in contact with any user of that product. This is a fantastic. Use if if the customers are okay with that. If it, yeah, so to actually contact them and ask them about their experience. Hey, you gave us a ten. Y you must be totally delighted. But was it? I want to learn more about that. Okay. So uh, same with the detractors. I want to learn what I can do better. Yeah. Um, visualize company wide your customer feedback and teach everyone how to read it. Yeah. Um, the, the keyword here is open book. So, um, we have uh, uh, get feedback from colleagues about you as an employee. We have that with the EMPS. And use the feedback from colleagues to grow 
for example, with personal coaching. I did that. I received personal feedback in, in that format. So, and, I, and I actually asked my personal coach, well, can you work with me on this particular point? Because I'm really not sure how to take that and how can I deal with that and what does it actually mean? And yeah, so, yeah, it actually helps. Now, here are a, a few myths or truths. Do you know that the, the, the former, former pope, yeah, so, and, and someone made a nice reference to Star Wars here, yeah, so, um, well, it, 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 it's up to you what is, what is truth and what is myth, okay? So, but this is, this is the game. I want you to, to uh, show hands, and I'll show you a few questions, and you should please show up hands what you think is myth or truth, I will ask you, okay? Now, first one, a product has an e uh, NPS of 80. Therefore, it's certainly market leader because it's so, wow, so overwhelming, right? So, hands up if you think that's a myth. That's the majority, nice. And um, who's, who thinks that that's, that's truth? Nice, okay. <laughs> actually, it's a myth. So, and I show you with only with one chart why that, that is actually a myth. Because that's you. Yeah, you have 80, you have 60, you have whatever for a very high uh, NPS, but it doesn't matter because it's relative. NPS is always relative. You don't have like common ground, okay? Therefore, even if you have a 60 or an 80 or whatever, if your competitors are having a higher NPS, it doesn't matter, okay? So again, don't focus on the score. The real value is in the qualitative feature. No, the next thing is two independent trainers, yeah, like me, so, um, having an NPS of 20 and 60. The one with the 60 is the better trainer. Do you think that's a myth? <laughs> we explain that later. <laughs> Who thinks that's the truth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sorry? C could be someone 80, yeah. yeah. What, why did you do that? Uh, well, you can have someone who delivers a lot of hours with two people and then have all the people that are better. Yeah, yeah. Someone who delivers less, uh, but more consistently, but perhaps maybe productive. Now, here's the thing. If I ask for feedback, I, as a trainer, at the end of the class, uh -huh. and I do it, for example, like, well, you know, like um, I, my my bonus is actually it depends on like the, on on what I what my what my feedback is. So um, a, a hint: the ninth and the tenth are very very important to me. So, uh, but I don't want to influence you. It's totally up to you. Oh, by the way, there's a present waiting for you after you give me feedback. Okay, so just 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 take your time right now. Okay, give me feedback, please. If I do that, for example, yeah, so I actually can easily manipulate that score, easily. Okay. I don't do that because I want to, like, like I said, I just read out that slide, okay? So, because that NPS is just for me, to, for me to improve, okay? I do it all the time the same. I try at least, yeah? So, but still, there's, there's, there's a, a, a problem with that. This is actually a myth. The reason for that is, well, it, you can't compare without a common ground, okay? Just because it looks alike doesn't mean those two trainers Okay, those two trainers are, are different in their approach how they actually measure that because they ask for it, okay, and can be different. If you want to compare someone, you need like a neutral zone, like a neutral um, service provider. And there are dozens out there, like consultancies usually. They, you can ask them, so I have these 10 people here. Could you please ask them about the, the NPS? Yeah, so, and they ask them in a very neutral way. They give me the numbers, yeah, so, and I don't interact with that. If I do that with two independent trainers, I actually could compare the numbers. But just like that, no way, okay? So just be careful with comparing those numbers. Last one, ask the ultimate question. People in different regions and countries will answer differently. Do you think that's a myth? Hands up if you think that's a myth. Hands up if you think that's the truth. Nice, okay. It is actually the truth, okay? Now, the reason is, and there's a German saying, uh, it, it is called andere Länder, andere Sitten. Yeah, so that was German, by the way. So, um, and that means different countries and different behavior. Okay, so, and it's, it's totally different, like the, the NPS I got from, uh, from here, in, uh, here, not here, in Australia, and it's totally different from what I got in Germany. 
So there's, there's actually a drop in 10%. Did yes, you, sir. Did you say different cultures, different behaviors? Yes, definitely. Not so, yeah. sorry? Not cultures. Well, cultures, yeah, but mm, no, I would say it's, it's, it's regional. Yeah. So I could compare like the MPS in, in I gather, uh, actually in Australia. Yeah. So, but I couldn't compare them with, for example, Europe. Yeah. So but that. Yeah. So yes. Like yes. Yes. There, there are interesting blog posts on the internet. Like, uh, we need a Dutch NPS system because the Dutch are always so criti cri like criticizing everything. So they, they say that was awesome. I give you a seven. Yeah. So. Mm, okay. So again, it's relative. Actually, all the, 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 the car insurance companies in the U.S. have a negative NPS. All of them. No one seems to like them. Okay. They don't care because even when you have uh, 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 an NPS of minus five, for example, you're at the top of the chain. <laughs> okay? So, and that's the important thing for them. They're market leaders. Okay? Uh, how, how do you start your website? Yeah. You are awesome. Uh, and I'm rating you at seven. Yes. Because next year I want to give you eight, and next year, next year I want to give you nine, and so Fair enough. Are, I don't want to be slow. Maybe so that's the good. Indian NPS? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> 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 yeah, nice. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Very good point. Very good point. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Does that mean that your NPS from that class will not be so great because they're really less critical of you? I I so all the NPS I I collected so far was uh, in in international environments. Let's put it that way. So I actually compare them. Yeah. So because it's well the the international area. I, yeah. So. <laughs> that might be that might be actually the thing. Yeah. So and I haven't I haven't done that for a non agile group so far. So that would be interesting how that actually would differ. Okay. Now last one I forgot there's one more. That's a good idea. Give an employee a huge bonus if she brings the product NPS up to whatever you set as a target. Do you think that's a myth? You think that's the truth? Ah, okay, that's interesting. Now, here's the thing: it's it's actually a myth, and let me let me explain that. That's actually the the very 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 ugly thing with metrics in, in general. Okay. Now there's the NPS score, score, yes, and the NPS system. I mentioned that before. Now I'm I'm focusing on the system, not on the score. If you focus on the score, yeah, so it will cause cheating. You can easily, easily cheat that. I, I gave you that example how I could do that in my training class. Okay? You can easily do that with like yeah, al almost all the time. And if you put money behind it, if you attach money to a metric in general, you get all kinds of very, very ugly results. Okay? And I've seen that too. We tried that in like I was in a consultancy before that. We we experimented a lot with the NPS. And we also did a little bit of that. It was a very, very bad idea. Yeah? You get fabulous NPS scores, yeah? like, like scores, but it, you don't really grow with that anymore. Okay? Now, my, my, this is another reason why only focusing on the scores is very dangerous. Now, this is an app store. That's X, XKCD, by the way. You know that, maybe? Yeah? That's a tornado guard. It's an app in the app store. Okay? Now, and uh, plays a loud alert, alert sound when there is a tornado warning for your area. Hey, that's a handy app, yeah? So that's very nice. So the rating is four. Wow. And it has four reviews. So what, that's actually not bad, okay? So I, I might actually buy that. Now, let, have, have a look at the, at the qualitative feedback. Number one, five stars. Good UI, many alert choices. Hmm, yeah, okay. So five stars, running great, no crashes. <laughs> well, low standard, but still, yeah? So, oh, five stars. I like how you can set uh, multiple locations. Nice, awesome. One star. App did not warn me about tornado. <laughs> okay? Be careful with the numbers. Okay? Don't focus on the numbers. Take them take them as a as a well a guiding system. Okay? So again, like like it, you can express your gut feeling with that number. Yeah? So but focus on the qualitative feedback. 
aim for a win, not a certain score. Okay. So. Now, um, you knew that that one was coming, right? Like, uh, on a zero to 10 scale, how likely is it that you would recommend this session to a friend or colleague of yours? And number two, why is that? Please, when you go outside, please take a post-it, put it on, I don't know, on, on the door. Yeah, when you go outside, put it on the door. So, and answer those two questions, because I don't get feedback, and that's very interesting. We're on an agile conference, and they don't use an, a, a feedback system. Well, I'm happy to take care of that on my own, yeah? So, um, which I do at the moment. But this actually is the reason why I did that talk in the first place, why I wanted to do something like that. NPS is out there for over 10 years. It's not new. It's actually very mainstream, okay? But still, so many companies suck. I'm sorry, not you, but other companies. They suck with feedback from the customer about the product. Yeah, they build something, they ship it, and they wonder what will happen afterwards, and they are, hmm, okay, we don't get feedback. This is a simple system, yeah? So, and um, I would be happy if you, if you could give me feedback. Really appreciate that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, I had uh, read an article. I yep. uh, I read five point jobs regularly. Yeah. I read this exercise regularly. Yeah. And uh, there was a guy who was doing a lot of business uh, at Axis. He gave an article saying that, uh, you know, supposing you're serving a different subject to our customer for five to ten, I mean, rating of one to ten. Mm -hmm. Yes, fair enough. Yeah. If I if I were doing that publicly for my own business, I would probably get the same thing. Yeah. So maybe. I don't know. Again, it's relative, right? It's relative. Okay. Some day, everybody is giving me a yeah. what we notice in our feedback system is that many people give us a score between 75 to 85. Mm -hmm. Nobody yeah. gives 10. Yeah. Nobody gives uh, like 95. Yeah. They give between 75 to 85, saying there's always a scope of improvement. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Thank you very much for that story. Um, I, I would like to close it here. I would, I would like to respect the time box. Yeah. So um, please meet me. Well, Evan said, please meet me afterwards. Okay. We can talk about that. Yeah. Thank you very much for, for coming here. Uh, one more thing. Um, there, where is it? There. Slide share slash Ben Schiffer. Uh, I will cheat it also. And I put the slides up there. Yeah. So if you, if you want to have that PDF, for example, yeah, for your own business, I'm happy to share. Yeah. Just send me, send me an email. So, and uh, well, don't forget to give me feedback. Thank you very much. Yeah.